Welcome to section 18 of Parasites. This is our parasite overview figure. In this video, we'll be discussing Toxocara canis, which you can see right here. This scene takes place inside of a toxic canning facility. Look at that green toxic cloud and all of those cans on the conveyor belt. Toxic can sounds like Toxocara canis, which should help you remember that this image is all about Toxocara canis. Now you can see that we've added a bunch of round gears underneath the conveyor belt that move the cans along. In most of our roundworm images, we've used a merry-go-round to represent this idea. But in this image, the round gears seem to work better. So just think of these round gears moving around in a circle, just like a merry-go-round, which should help you remember that Toxocara canis is a roundworm, or nematode. Now you can see that we've added another employee to the image. He was carrying this box when he suddenly noticed that he was stepping in a thick brown mess on the floor. This brown mess resembles stool, and stepping in stool is our symbol for fecal oral transmission. So Toxocara canis exhibits fecal oral transmission. So once Toxocara eggs are ingested orally, they enter the gastrointestinal tract where the eggs hatch and larvae are released. Here, the larvae migrate through the intestinal wall into the bloodstream. To help you remember this, we've shown a bunch of brown juice going down the slide into a large sieve. As you can see, once the juice enters the sieve, it turns red. The sieve is coated with a special red food coloring to make the juice appear more attractive and preserve freshness once it's canned. In any case, the brown juice is a symbol for the intestines, and the red juice is a symbol for the blood. So this flow of juice going from brown to red should help you remember that Toxocara canis starts out in the intestines and then migrates through the intestinal wall to enter the bloodstream. You may have noticed that the red juice turns brown again near the guy holding the box and are wondering why. Well, this occurred because this Dalmatian dog who was riding in the car had a little accident, causing the juice to turn brown again. We've included the Dalmatian dog for two reasons. First, it's here to help you remember that Toxocara canis is transmitted through dog feces. And second, we've shown the Dalmatian dog with a liver spot on its belly to help you remember that once Toxocara disseminates into the bloodstream, it affects multiple organs, including the liver. So it affects the liver. Also notice that the guy riding the cart is pretty horrified because there was a huge spill, causing some of the red juice to splash all over him. It's even getting on his sunglasses. The sunglasses are a symbol for blindness. So this should help you remember that Toxocara affects the eyes, resulting in visual impairment and blindness. The same guy is a pretty big guy with some muscles that appear quite large. The car is our symbol for the heart, and the fact that there is a somewhat muscular guy in it should make you think of the muscular layer of the heart, or the myocardium. So together, this should help you remember that Toxocara canis can affect the heart, causing myocarditis. Alright, now notice that we've added another character to the scene. This guy is a pretty big slacker, and he likes to take little cat naps on the job. Every day, the boss in the car comes around at the same time, so this little slacker sets an alarm clock to wake him up just before the boss comes. He also uses a hat to help cover up his eyes to make it appear like he's not sleeping. Anyway, the hat is usually our symbol for meningitis, because hats cover the head, just like the meninges cover the brain. However, in this instance, the hat refers generically to CNS penetration of the disease. Additionally, the fact that this guy is sleeping with a hat on should make you think of a CNS penetration resulting in a coma. So Toxocara canis can cause CNS penetration resulting in a coma. Finally, the alarm clock that's shaking about violently should make you think of a person with a seizure who is shaking about uncontrollably. So CNS penetration can also cause seizures. Okay, the last addition to the scene will be this cracked phone that was just run over by the car. Poor phone. Now you can see it all bent and damaged. In any case, the bent phone is here to help you remember that Toxocara canis is treated with bendazoles. All right, now that we've covered the image, let's review with a question. A four-year-old boy is brought to the physician by his mother due to recent changes in his skin color. She states that several weeks ago, they started going to a new playground contaminated with dog feces and is worried her son may have become ill after accidental ingestion of the feces. His temperature is 38.7 degrees Celsius or 101.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Physical examination reveals jaundice of the skin and hepatomegaly. Laboratory analysis of the patient's blood is significant for transaminitis and elevated levels of eosinophils. An enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay test detects IgG antibodies to antigens secreted by a roundworm. This patient's condition, A, is transmitted through larvae penetration of the skin, B, should be treated with ivermectin, C, can be best explained by auto-infection, or D, may cause myocarditis. Okay, hopefully from the question stem, you notice that this boy may have ingested dog feces and now has a fever of 38.7 degrees Celsius, jaundice, and hepatomegaly, which suggests hepatitis. Also, an ELISA test detected the presence of a roundworm, and of all of the roundworms, Toxocara canis is most classically associated with hepatitis. So we can be confident that the correct answer is D, 
may cause myocarditis. From the image, recall that the liver spot on the Dalmatian right here is here to help you remember that Toxocara canis causes liver problems, such as hepatitis. Likewise, the strong guy in the car right here is here to help you remember that Toxocara canis can cause myocarditis. A, B, and C are all suggestive of Strongyloides stercoralis, which can occasionally invade the liver, but this is rare. It's much more likely for Toxocara canis to cause hepatitis. Also, Strongyloides is transmitted when larvae penetrate the skin, not via dog feces. So, Strongyloides is transmitted through larvae penetration of the skin, is treated with ivermectin, and causes autoinfection. So A, B, and C are all incorrect. So again, the correct answer is D, may cause myocarditis. And with that, we've covered everything you need to know regarding Toxocara canis.